Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beginning, I expect the beginning, of the Milos Ninkovic saga. It is Saturday the 4th of June, and we are just a week after the, the, the completion of this A-League season, the week after the grand final, and Sydney FC's star player, Milos Ninkovic, has been caught up in the past, what, 12 hours, 24 hours, in, it's, it's just a lot of confusion going on, and basically in this video, I'm going to walk you through, basically just present, present the facts, walk you through what's happened, who has said what, and where do we go from here. I'll give you my thoughts on it as well, but we're going to start off, it all starts here on Milos Ninkovic's Instagram. So this was, uh, this was late last night, Milos Ninkovic out of nowhere announcing his departure from Sydney FC, a club where he has won championships. He's he's won Johnny Warren medals. Uh, you can see he in the caption. Uh, the caption basically sums up what he says in this video, which goes for goes for a minute and forty four seconds. But you can see here he says, "With great disappointment, I will no longer be playing in the colours where you are most familiar with me and the club." with whom I have achieved many victories. He goes on to say, my young family grew up in Sydney and we love the life we made here. And uh, it's quite interesting seeing what he says here. And, and this is sort of where it gets a bit, little bit, you know, uh, sort of, you know, what's going on? You know, is there stuff going on behind the scenes? So he, so he says here, my decision doesn't come lightly. My hand has been forced, so to speak, but it had to be made as my integrity is, is most important for me and the sport I've dedicated most of my life to so far. I totally understand that Sydney FC is moving in another direction and has a different vision moving forward. He goes on to say, I'd like to thank Sydney FC, of course, um, a club that he's created history with. Um, having said that, and this is uh, this is another important point too. I mean, he's not done. He's he's not retiring. Uh, he's made that clear. Having said it, having said that, it's far from over. There's still a lot of passion in me. I hope to continue to play. However, at this point in time, I will have to explore uh, some other opportunities and options. And when you look at the comments section, I mean, it's just validated even more. Teammates, former teammates, Harry van der Sarg here, uh, veteran Jan Yedovic, Archie Thompson, uh, Lafondre here, Mustafa Ramini, Matty Yerman, Lu Luciano Nassing. I mean, it's all these players. And actually, it was an even in, in, an interesting one here from Ryan Grant. Mate, devastating news, but an absolute privilege. This is this doesn't seem to be just the first time that, that, that we, the fans, are finding out. But this is the first time his teammates are finding out. I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't recall ever seeing anything like this in the history of the A-League, especially for such a big player, arguably Sydney FC's greatest ever player, and 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 it's just been an absolute train wreck. Uh, we fast, we flash forward to to the next morning, and we jump over to the Twitter page of Adam Santo, who is now Sydney FC uh, CEO and was appointed CEO just about a week or so ago. Um, he has been been involved with the club for a long time, but he says at eight fifty four a.m. on Saturday morning after. Uh, Ninkovic's posts. We continue to be in discussions with Milos Ninkovic about his future at the club. We look forward to saying more on this in come in the. We look forward to saying more on this. Sorry, um, in the coming days. What? <laughs> it's it's very bizarre, and 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 I and I wonder how can how can they move forward from here? Where, if if you look at what Ninkovic has said here, and of course his video says very much the same thing in the caption. He's done. It sounds like it's completely over. There is also on top of that uh, status there from Adam Santo. We had an article posted on Sydney FC's website. Um, basically, I mean, stating pretty similarly what uh, Adam Santo stated uh, in his tweet. At this point in time, Sydney FC can share the following information rega uh, in regards to the latest on Milos Ninkovic. In the late hours of yesterday evening, club legend Milos Ninkovic posted on his social platforms in regard to the current state of his contract negotiations. Okay. And uh, Milos, Milos is, a, is a legend of our club, of course, and we are continuing discussions with him about his future. The, 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 the curious thing is, this is very much by the sounds of things from Sydney FC, the current state of his negotiations with the club. It's not done, it, even to the point where Sydney FC sound like they want to keep him around. And rightly so. I think Milos Dinkovic, despite the fact that he's probably, you know, not performing at the same level he was maybe, you know, a few years ago, um, there's, he has still something to offer Sydney FC. And this, they, they're not at all making it sound like he's going to leave the club. They're, they're labeling him as a club legend, of course. Um, and, but saying that the current state of his contract negotiations with the club, you know, continuing discussions, I mean, these words that they're using, it's not done. But it's a stark contrast to the words that Milos Ninkovic has used across his social media platforms. If you go back to his Instagram, 
He thanks Sydney FC for his time. He's exploring other options. He sounds very much like he's uh, he, he's he, he's looking forward to his next adventure, man. Um, and, and, and probably disappointed. I mean, if you look at the video and, and how he's sort of reacting, he's very disappointed with this, uh, how this has played out as well. And uh, the final thing that I wanted to pull up here too, which I thought was quite interesting, is that uh, this has been shared uh, from a post from Sky Blue's, uh, Sky Blue Views on Twitter, a message from the Supporters Club on Facebook. Um, and this comes from from JD, who's, who's one of the, uh, he works for the media team at Sydney FC, Sky Blue family. I can only apologize to you all for the lackluster Ninkovic information and tribute that has gone out through the night. All of the posts, um, all of the posts that have come from our socials overnight have not been from me. I pleaded with my superiors to hold off on posting anything at all until we have clear, concise knowledge and reasoning. I'm beyond horrified and fuming that they have done so. And you can see he was he's been in conversation with CEO Adam Santo. And it, it's it's concerning. It's worrying the fact that there's just even just not not around the club, of course, as I mentioned with the fans, but just in general, there is a there is a sense of confusion amongst the club themselves, amongst the player, amongst the the, the staff, amongst the people higher up high up at Sydney FC. No one really knows what's going on. I mean, from what we can gather, you know, maybe the reasoning behind this, whether and again, this is pure speculation whether Sydney FC potentially were, were keen to like offer him a contract extension, maybe his wages looked a little bit different from what he was earning before. Pure speculation. Uh, maybe he was going to be offered a different role. Maybe not, you know, not, you know, guaranteed a starting spot in the lineup, you know, week in, week out. Which, um, I mean, he wasn't playing week in, week out, to be fair. I mean, of course, he had injuries uh, this past season. But yeah, this season, he wasn't, you know, a mainstay in that, in that starting eleven. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure, man. I mean, we can only speculate. And that's the thing. It's just a whole bunch of confusion at the moment. But you can see how that, that's the, the, just the stark contrast between what we're hearing from Adam Santo, Sydney FC CEO. They sound very almost optimistic that we're going to have negotiations. It's going to be sorted out. But I can't see Ninkovic. I mean, what would it be like, not just for him, but for all the teammates who have commented on this post, for him to suddenly be like, all right, guys, don't worry about that video I shared a couple of days ago. We're staying at Sydney FC for another year. I just can't see it happening. I can't see it happening. And now there's already speculation as to where does, you know, Milos Ninkovic go? Does he head to a rival? Even some people suggesting Western Sydney Wanderers, which would uh, give a lot of spice to the Sydney Derby for next season. I don't think that'll happen. Um, you know, I even proposed the idea that, that you know, whether he would come to, to Central Coast Mariners. The only reason why I do that, we saw a similar situation, sort of, with Nikolai Muller at Wanderers last season. Wanted to stick around in sort of the Sydney area. Wanderers, you know, weren't keeping him on. So he came to Central Coast Mariners. Is this sort of like a similar thing where a player who's who's living in Sydney wants to stay in the area, just happy to look for another club in the area. He's, he's happy to give him some game time. It's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. Would love to get your thoughts. So jump in the comment section. How do you think this Ninkovic situation is going to play out? Uh, anything can happen from here. Will he stay at Sydney FC? Is he going to do, going to do a complete U-turn? Is he going to head to one of Sydney FC's rival clubs? Who knows? It's quite a fascinating situation. So, guys, I'll make sure to keep you update, updated on all of the news. My name is Lockie. This is Coastwood Football. Hit like on this video if you want to show your support. See you guys in the next one.